Okay, today I'm going to do a brief tutorial on how to set up your gray mask wallet for uh, voting and transferring, staking, unstaking, all that sort of thing. So head over to the GitHub, gray mask slash EOS voter, scroll down. Depending on which uh, operating system you use, I'm a Windows, so click on that one. I've already installed it. I'm going to skip that step over here. So once you're, uh, once the wallet's running, you're going to come to this first screen here. You're going to connect to the server. You click on that link there. It'll bring you down to the available nodes. I just select the gray mass one myself. It doesn't really matter which one you use. Paste it in here. Connect to server. And now you have to enter your public key. Um, don't enter your private key. That one starts with a 5. The public key is going to start with EOS. So copy paste that one in here. Look up account. You'll find your account name. Select it. Now you enter your private key here. The one that starts with 5. Paste it in. Compare keys. Now, now you're going to have to set up the uh, password. It's just a local password for your computer that you're using the uh, gray mass on. Password again. Uh, the first page here is going to be your constitution or the interim constitution that we're using right now. This is going to be up for a vote soon, I believe. So just accept that one. Read it if you haven't read it. What? My daughter's down there yelling at me. Um, anyway, it brings you up to this uh, voting screen here. You'll have a list of all the BPs you can vote for. Do some research on, on, on these BPs. Know who you're voting for is my recommendation. If you don't, there's a proxy voter option here. I'll be doing a video next on how to uh, set up a proxy vote or allocate your, your voting power to a proxy. Now, otherwise, a couple other tools in here. You can stake, unstake. You can send, receive, buy RAM, sell RAM. A couple other tools in here. Key, you can create new keys if you want to <clears throat> create a new account. Uh, you can register a proxy. You can, you can also link a couple different accounts to this. So at any any different EOS accounts, you can link them all up to the same wallet, and it'll just have a drop down here with your account names. And you can select which one you want to use, send stuff back and forth. So very uh, intuitive wallet, it's easy to use. This is kind of my main wallet I've been using for a while now. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, tune in for the next next video on how to uh, proxy your vote.